Juice Review! Da -na 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 -na. Hey guys, Ben Vic here and welcome to another review. Today we are reviewing five juices from Token Vape. Token Vape is a new UK uh, e-juice company uh, and they are going all in on presentation guys. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Tokenvape.co.uk is their web address. Uh, there's even like a telephone number you can ring if you have a problem on here, which is pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, so they've come in really fancy tubes, all the details, loads of good details on there. You can get them in 0, 3, 6 and 12 mg. And once you pop off the top, you've got a lovely black bottle, uh, lovely, lovely, lovely dripper style situation going on. Um, so yeah, absolutely 10 out of 10 for the website, packaging, bottling, design, style. Uh, all that stuff absolutely 10 out of 10 so let's get into the juices first one just showed it you then uh, sweet salt now this one is the first one I tried just because it sounded so different um, and it's now in the scrape which will probably tell you if you watch me on a regular basis it'll probably tell you all you need to know um, but it is vanilla ice cream with salted caramel and uh, a, a waffle exhale um, so we'll, we'll give it a go all I get at first is just like let me just get comfy uh, all I get uh, what I get for, at first is just sweetness just lovely gentle um, modest sweetness and then you after when you've inhaled you sort then you sort of oh yeah vanilla I'm getting vanilla yeah and then I'm not sure if it's on the exhale but it's there there is this sort of like waffly coney sort of taste is it's just a really great combination and why wouldn't it be you know that's that that is, that is a dessert you know people have vanilla ice cream with caramel and a waffle in don't they you know, so it's a great combination. I'm surprised there's not more of this combination around, but it's a really nice, unique blend. It's complex, you know, you get different amounts of each one each time. It's good. No, it's good. It's really good. I like this. No, it's good, that one. I like that one. That is good. That is good. 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 Okay, next one is uh, Samic Berry. Samic Berry. Samic Berry. I'm going to have to read this one because they've given it a really arty-farty type uh, write-up, you know, and I can't, I can't put it better than they put it, I don't think, and it's a bit... Oh. Uh, okay, so Strawberry... Uh, masqueraded and coated with creamy smooth natural yogurt then the delicate equilibrium of a tart yet sweet sour yet savory balsamic vinegar blend comes to the forge a triumph of balance flavors delivers this complex juice <laughs> and I have this complex juice in uh, my uh, hunter from UD dripper on the snow wolf still got that temperature build in here um, so, this is this one. What are we at? We're like 70 watts here, we're at 550 Fahrenheit. Um, that's snow, snow Wolf Life, hashtag Snow Wolf Life. Uh, <laughs> just temperature, you just gotta do to what you taste with this Snow Wolf. Um, It is sweet and sour. The The strawberry in it is ridiculously sweet. Really tartly sweet. Um, and it is the main flavour in here. Uh, beyond beyond that, 
<laughs> beyond beyond that, you do sort of, I'm sort of getting a bit sour to it as well. Uh, to me, this just tastes like strawberries and cream with very, very tart strawberries. Um, some people will love this, but this one, this one's too sweet, too tart uh, for me. It almost like sort of, it sort of grabs your palate, you know. Um, I took this to work one day and by the end of the day I'd had enough of it and that's the truth you know two or three meals consecutive of this and I was ready for something else absolutely ready for something else um, that being said when I first picked up and had a go on it I was like oh yeah that's good so it's one of those maybe maybe drip a mill of it on an evening or something I don't know uh, everyone's different aren't they it's, it's, it's good quality it's complex but to me it is just so sharp and, and sour and s the sweetness of the strawberries is so tangy and uh, it's almost too much it's almost too much for me um, but that's just my opinion on that one moving along let's move along Bye, Snow Wolf. Okay, next in the Axis with the Tugboat V2 on top, I have got Tatan Anglaise. Tatan Anglaise, which is a French pâtisserie, pâtisserie uh, tart tatan, uh, rich buttery pastry with buttered uh, sauté, sautéed apples, caramelised in brown sugar. And finally met with a perfectly matched partner vanilla pod custard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Um uh, tart tatan uh with apples and vanilla custard. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this one is super sweet, super luxurious, super dessert-like, you know, this is just uber desserty, sickly sweet, you know, uh, I, 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 I did about a mill and a half of this when I first tried it in a tank, and it, I was just absolutely loving it, and again, I took it to work the next day, and I'd had enough by the end of the day, so sweet, so rich, you know, um, I'm getting all the flavours that they say I should be getting. Uh, vanilla custard is very muted um, over the overall creamy and sweetness of it. But um, so it's not in any way. You're, if you're not if you're a custard lover, I'm not saying you'll necessarily like this. Um, but it, it's really well put together. It's really tasty. Um, it's just for me, one or two mil of it would be enough. Yeah. So. I mean, it's really sweet, really sickly, uh, really decadent. Uh, it's another one where you could have a good couple of mils and really love it, and then you'd have enough, and you'd need to put it down, come back to it a couple of days later. Uh, but super tasty, super clever flavour, really complex, uh, really tasty, really decadent. And that is that one. I'll put that one up here. Okay, next, black rice. Black rice, this one. This is sweet salt and black rice are my two favourites from this line. I'm going to get some more of. They're really delicious. The uh, black rice is uh, black currants uh, with a little bit of like licorice in as well. Slightly aniseedy taste. Um, it's awesome. This is awesome. This one is amazing. And so it's sweet salt and this one. Absolutely knocking it out of the park. Um, so let's have a bosh on this one. Fire it up. I've got it in the Billow V2 uh, with a sexy drip tip. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, I've got it on the IPV Mini V2. Um, the Billow V2 is still my favourite cloud chasing RTA. Um, I think it's amazing. And there's, if you're not happy with the size of it, there's a, a, a Mini Billow V2 coming out now as well. Uh, so maybe take a peek at that, but let's give this let's give this a blast. Black rice. It's lovely. The main thing you're going to get is like is the 
is the blackberry. Uh, it's just like a, it's almost like a Ribena or something like that. But then straight over the top, you're getting this licorice and a seedy taste. Um, maybe you know Dr Jekyll esque or one of those sort of vapes. Um, but they've really kept it down and calm. You know, it's not a crazy licorice or a crazy and a seedy taste. The main thing you're getting is the blackberries. It's really good. Um, I know some people are just like love their blackberry vapes. Um, they love the sort of ribene of juices and stuff like that. And this is just up there. I can just recommend this. If you even if that doesn't sound up your street, I recommend this juice. I think you just like this. This is just a top, such a clever juice, so well put together. Um, I rate this one so highly. That is great. That is just a great setup for me. Uh, Billow V2, IPV Mini V2, and, and Black Rice. That is just a great setup. That is going nowhere but in here for now. That is just awesome. It's just lovely. So that one is that one. The final one is Kerno Tails. Kerno Tails. Um, Kerno Tails, Kerno Tails. Okay, so. This one is a legendary Cornish t cream tea layered with real strawberry preserve topped with a generous soft clotted cream uh, before ending with savoury hints of Earl Grey tea. So this is sort of a tea vape but you get the tea bit as a very much an afterthought, as an aftertaste. Um, nicely juiced up. I've got it in the Mutation V4 with all the holes closed off just using the underflow on the Tesla sub box uh, Tesla 2 sub mod uh, so we'll give it a well it's just a dual parallel mod but it's super dinky um, so we'll give this a blast as well you get those tangy tangy strawberries like the samic berry um, and they dominate they dominate this juice but then you do get that tea exhale you get you get that they get those super strong strawberries again but then straight away softening them and making them easier to vape than the samic berry you're getting the vanilla and then on the exhale you're getting the tea so it, it's a real experience of a vape so it's, uh, it's good it's good it is good this one's good um, not too bothered about the tatan anglaise not too bothered about the samic berry um kerno tails is very good uh, but i am obsessed with black rice and sweet salt that's the breakdown guys that's the overall breakdown of these um token vape i've smashed it for me as uh, these five juices coming out as a new juice company amazing packaging fair pricing as well um Amazing packaging, amazing style, amazing clever collection of juices, all unique and different and exciting. And Black Rice and Sweet Soul are out of this world, and Kerno Tales is good as well. Um, so that's what I've got for this one. This is five from Token Vape, tokenvape.co.uk. Go and have a look. Um, people think you've got to go to America to get the fancy juices, but they are right on our doorstep, guys. There's some really good UK ones, and this is one of those UK ones that gives any American juice a run for its money, in my opinion. Um, thumbs up, you know, I like it, and I'll see you again soon.